stop pointing at me. <laughs> no, it's in braids. That won't work. I need a volunteer with long hair that will come down. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They have to volunteer themselves, stupid people. <laughs> <laughs> I know you, you can too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You want to do it? Come on up. Leave the glasses behind. Thank you, Joseph. I have someone. Come, come, come. The man in black. Oh. What is your name? Neil. Neil? Neil of science? Yeah. What? Uh, I'm pretty sure he is a boy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is there a split or something? <laughs> Neil of science, you will stand over here. See, he says it's because usually I have a little girl who volunteers for this. But, uh, you are the best we got. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you of science! You are going to help me demonstrate my new invention, yeah? Yeah! 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 yeah. 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 I'm asking me, you're not your kid. <laughs> you're talking, but you're a teacher. Where's the kid? the same jokes. <laughs> what? You can't change all your jokes now because it's a pretty guy, so a little girl. My jokes are non gender specific. See? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid trollop. <laughs> 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 Neil, my hay bale is getting soft. <laughs> Neil, of science, you're going to help me demonstrate my new invention, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Stay over there. It's <laughs> <laughs> just a joke. <laughs> Neil, you are going to help me demonstrate my new invention of what I have only recently created. You are going to help me demonstrate the air cannon. You will stand right there. You will bend at the waist. You will shake the hair in front of your face and stand up straight with the hair in front of your face. Yeah. I will load the air cannon. <laughs> <laughs> I love that because it is so scary. <laughs> Behold the power of the air!
take you about? Me, let's say it! When I hit on the end of the air cannon, I move in the air through the cannon at high speed. When the air hits the hole in the end, the hole in the, the air in the center continues to move quickly. The air on the edges is slowed down or twisted around on itself, making what we call the air vortex. My friends, go home. Get yourselves a large trash can. <laughs> With the help of your parents, cut a hole in the bottom, but it's no more than 50% the diameter of the can. Slap a shower curtain over the end, throw in a couple of smoke bombs, have a good time. <laughs> A month ago, Joseph, sit, please. A month ago, well, two months ago now, a young boy saw my show in another village. He went home, decided to make himself an air cannon. He used the trash can from the kitchen. He used the shower curtain from the shower. He had a much smaller can. He put in five smoke bombs. <laughs> then he played with his air cannon inside the house. <laughs> <laughs> that boy is still grounded today. Score one for Gibbon! <laughs>